What's up, the name's Just, and welcome back to Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmonies. Well, last time we got started with Chapter 1, and we were introduced to our first mode. Plus, we even tried to escape this darn place. So that ended up, uh, not so well. But apparently, we have determination to deal forward. So, in this episode, we actually have a second motive introduced to us. And we actually find out, thanks to our boy Shuichi, he hooks us up with a plan to get out of this darn place and stop the killing game for once. So, if you want to see more content like this, make sure to like the video to show the support for the channel, show me some, show some, some love. And also, if you want to keep updated with my release videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell to make sure you're notified whenever I release a video. Because if you don't press that bell, you will not be notified for every single video, and that would suck if you're a fan of my content. So, if you should do so, Thank you for the love. So let's get started. Gonta, how are you how are you feeling about this? What's the matter? What's wrong, Gonta? Not going back to the dorms? Don't have to worry about manhole. Think it okay with cover gone? What if someone fall in? Get hurt real bad. Gonta gentlemen. Gentlemen can know it. No can endure that. But Kiri me tell Gonta. Leave cover off. Gonta no not know what to do. Everyone knows it's here, so I'm sure we'll all be careful. Don't worry about it. Okay, you're right. Maybe Gonta just keep eye on it. Thank you, Kaede. Gonta, go back to the room now. Good night. Yep, good night. You're a good guy. Gonta may look scary, but he's actually a very kind, innocent soul. Yeah, I, I really think that he's really cute. Like, not like, like he's a he's like a child. I I like children. Okay, let's bloody da into a room. I see a people. But I just passed the people, right? Okay, here's the people. Is something the matter? Please rest and try to regain your strength as you can. Escaping this place will prove to be quite difficult. Best not to fret over it. Okay, la da 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 la. Okay. La da 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 la. Okay, why the heck am I? La da da da. Oh, there's two! Two little beeps. Look at these beeps. Ah, come on. With my magic. If you really can't fall asleep, I'll put you to sleep with a magic hammer. That would be an internal sleep. Yeah, I don't- I don't wanna- Okay, come on. <sighs> Seeing it like this, this school really is eerie. It's an interesting place to stay, place in the day, but having to stay in the night is too much. Okay, so dorms are here. There, yeah, there we go. Let's see. Okay, my room is right. I know it's a corner right there. There we go. Oh, that's a nice little thing. So this is my room. Oh, it's not too shabby. A key? Is it the key to this room? Hello, I'm not a kid. Bingo, you got that right. Nice work. That is the fact. In fact, the key to this room. You probably don't have anything worth stealing in here. But you should lock your door whenever you leave. All right, now it's time for giving me a special hint. If you steal someone else's key, you can sneak in the room and kill him easily. Shut up, I don't want to hear that. I, I, I just got chewed out. Bye. Jeez, this place is the worst. I just want to go home. Okay. So why don't we just go to bed first? Because I don't want to... Okay. <sighs> I'm tired. So my body hit the bed. My body immediately froze. After everything that happened. I just forgot how physically and mentally exhausted I was. So we'd achieve our goal as long as we didn't give up. That'd always been my mentality when I practiced piano. But maybe playing piano is easier. Because I'm blessed with that talent. I have I think you have something in you. Congratulations for shaving, Tony Chen. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for letting me know. Which opens prelude playing in my head. I fall into a deep sleep. I was waiting for ya! Let's see how this works. New student of Ultimate Academy, congratulations! The weeds here have grown thick with joy, as, well as, as if celebrating your entrance into the school. 
Seeing your anxious eyes shine with murderous intent makes me oh so happy. If you ever feel lost, don't be shy. Talk to your friends or teacher. Let's all get along. And let's do lots of killing too. I pray for the physical and mental well-being of this new killing school semester. I, I mean, I pray for the well-being of you students. Yes, that will do. Yeah, I don't like this dude. I never really liked Monokuma too much. Rise and shine, or sign. <laughs> num num, this is a fanful official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. It's 8 a.m., which is time to wake up and face a blood drenched day. Um, I am going to stream the trial, but just not today. Warder who's dead this morning. Stop, if I see it, suddenly see a dead body, I'll puke again. Enjoy your killing school semester. I just hope no one's dead by now. That's too quick for me. It was awesome, terrible dream. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? But yeah, I have time to joke around. I said I'd meet the others in the dining hall. Everyone wants to be waiting. I need to get to the dining hall ASAP. Let's get to the dining hall. Hello, everyone. Hi. Um, anyone up here? No one, okay. Er, I saw my boy Chuichi over there, but I just want to get to the dining hall to progress the story a little bit quicker. I know it's said to be some stereotypical, Morning, Kaede, blah blah blah. I just had a really furious point today. And so they're like, oh, no, okay, I didn't need to know that. And yeah, that's how basically how our conversation would go. So, I'm not going to talk to him. Let's just see if everyone knows what's up. Okay. Is that everyone? Oh, everyone's here already. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Now, all of us have arrived. <laughs> I'm glad. It looks as though there are no victims. But of course! By the way, are you okay, Hayate? Huh? What do you mean? Well, you you could really bum after everyone started blaming you yesterday. Hey, what are you doing all of a sudden? Seriously, you guys are so mean. Poor girl. You should try your best to encourage everyone. You sore losers got mad at her anyway. Oh my goodness! Oh, I hate this kind of person. They just bring up stuff that's in the past. Oh, jeez, I hate this kind of person. <laughs> What's the point of bringing that up again? Actually, didn't you blame Kaede first? It, now it's my fault? Why are you guys giving up on me? <laughs> you guys are terrible. So horrible, so mean. Hmm, she's too noisy. Cut it out. This is true. Everyone blamed Kaede without taking responsibility themselves. Hey, come on now. Everyone was probably just tired. Shut it. That's no excuse. No, it's okay. It doesn't bother me. I just... I, I should have been more considerate about everyone's feelings. I was too focused on the tunnel, so I'm sorry. Alright, well, if you're okay with it, then so am I. Whew, cool beans. Every, now everything's settled. But you did blame her first, didn't you? Well, that was a lie, <laughs> you know. One of those lies that makes us more united or whatever. Ugh. Did you know half my lies are actually told with good intentions? Now that sounds like a lie. Let's just forget about it and discuss something else. Okay, so let's think about the ways to get out of here. Before you do that, I have an announcement. Hello. Hey, don't just suddenly show up. It's too much stress for my heart. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to surprise you. So, you did mean to surprise us. Well, your announcement. It's not terribly important, but... See, this is stay alive and being obviously goody two-shoes, right? It, being thrust into a killing game doesn't mean you'll be able to kill someone easily. So, I figured I'd ease you guys into the killing game... ...by giving you motivation to kill. Oh, no. Motivation to kill? In short, motive. I ought to add some mystery, mystery to the process of uh, proceedings. I can I not read today. Even if the killer is exposed, they could whip up a sob story to deceive everyone. What are you saying? Your logic is impossible to understand. I will now announce the first motive. Make sure you record this moment for posterity. Recorded. Stream recorded. Everyone, take a look.
is called the first blood hurt. Wow! For the first murder that occurs, no class trial will be held. Can you believe it? That means the first one to kill someone will get to graduate. No strings attached. What? No class trial be held? I'm sorry I made the class trial seem more important than it really is. But for the first rare, I've decided not to hold a class trial at all. So please just relax, calm down, and kill. After all, the first one's free. Huh? That's, that's all? We just gotta kill someone to get out of here? If that's all? What's that supposed to mean? Please just calm down. First flood perk? Don't make it sound like some game show bonus. You say that, I bet you're really happy, huh? There's no way I'm happy. Stop messing around. Do you think this is fun for us? Hmm? Do you really think I'd kill someone just to get out? In your dreams. I'm not gonna lose to you. We promised each other we'd escape to this place. Spare me your false bravado. You should be focusing on how to plan to your plan to survive. You just gotta kill someone, right? Why? You bastard. I see. The prisoner's dilemma. How very clever of you, Monokuma. Huh? What's that? We all know it better to cooperate rather than betray each other, right? Okay, I know exactly what the prisoner's dilemma is. Let me explain it to you guys if you guys don't know. Okay, so for this example, say there are two people. There's not enough evidence to commit, um, to commit someone for the crime, okay? So, these two people sat down by a person, like a police officer or something, and he's like, I don't know which one of you did it. So I'm gonna explain these rules to you. So, if you both stay quiet, you get two years. If one of you confesses, and the other one doesn't confess, then you get set free. The person who didn't confess gets three years. But if you both confess for each other, you each get... Okay. Wait, hold on. Okay, so, yeah, two years. So, uh, so if you both confess, you both get three years, I believe. So, that's interesting. So, that's the ideal situation. Okay? So, that's kind of the dilemma we're in right now. So, it's really weird. So, if you don't cooperate, you receive some benefit that no one else gets. It's incentive to betray the group to give yourself an advantage. In that back of all of our... In that back of all of our minds, we're less likely to cooperate. That's Monokuma's plan. To make a non-cooperative game that tanks Kaya's plan to get us to cooperate. And, and if a murder were to occur, it'd be even more unlikely that we'd cooperate. It's likely he created this perk for that sole purpose. Right? I bet you can just stand this tension in the air, right? That's just better to kill. What? You... It seems you're quite serious about forcing us to participate in this killing game. What exactly is your objective? The objective doesn't matter. I'm through laying him out of his way. I've had enough. Catch a lunge towards my Akuma to grab him, but... Yeah, no, no, Kaito. That's a bad. That's bad, bad. Looks like we've got ourselves a volunteer. Finally. It's time for the exiles. Exiles. We won't let you a hand lay you lay a hand on daddy. We want daddy to smile every way. They use the bastards better pay attention. This is what happens when you mess with us. What? What are you guys planning to do? Please don't. Run Kaito. At that moment we heard menacing mechan mechanical noises. The exosols charged. Oh no. The sound of crushing metal metal echoed throughout the dining hall. And then a final gasp. What? Huh? Father. Father! They got turned into a pile of scrap metal! This is Mondam's fault somehow. Oh, He's trying. He's trying, you know? What is this? What's going on? I'm not sure what's going on, but Monica went in pieces. Serves him right. He got what he just deserved. Do not celebrate just yet. I'm certain he has a spare that it will appear momentarily. There's no spare! Don't trivialize life like that! What? My father was alive. 
he used to tell us cubs they must cherish life because we we're like snowflakes unique in every way if only one existence it's like the, the, does that mean makum is dead poor daddy at least let's bury him with full honors yeah we'll cook him low and slow to lock the flavor while we're at it we should toss in some carrots and potatoes too Oh, maybe it's that some leftover curry too. You know, the sweet kind, my favorite. Do you want an extra side, large side of rice too, right? Now that we're new headmasters, we gotta eat more so we can get stronger. Yeah, I doubt he's dead. Yeah, no way he get dead. No, no way. Uh, what's going on? Hmm, everything's a complete mess now. But if there's no final boss, that means the killing game's canceled. Huh? Canceled? I don't think so. Marco is just a robot. There has to be someone controlling him. <laughs> don't waste such a worry war. Everything's definitely over now. With the mastermind gone, we're doing this game pretty much impossible. Which means we win. We did it. So we're not in danger anymore. Oh, so we just wait here for the cell bus to pick us up, or? But wait a minute. We don't know that yet. Kaede, quit being a quest kill. Everyone's just annoyed about what you said yesterday. But I, d I didn't mean it like that. Or. Is there something you would have us do, Kaede? Don't let us see, um, Don't tell me you want to take on that underground passage again. Quiet. We know it's impossible. What up? Looks like we're done here. <laughs> what a relief. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna go down that easy. After Kokichi finished talking, talking we went our separate ways. So I turned my room. Okay. So. What happened, B? Yeah, that was complete BS. I, I feel like that move is complete BS, but... And I feel like Monokuma being dead is complete BS, so... Mm, I don't know why, but... I, but once I... Ugh, I don't know why, but once I went inside my room, I just started crying uncontrollably. <laughs> huh? Why? To that moment, the intercom in my room rang. Oh, it's an intercom. Hello. Tomorrow here from Kumi Kansas. But oh, nothing means better right now. Oh, intercom. I th okay, where's the inner is it where's the intercom? Uh door? Intercom, is someone at the door? Close let my tears in. Open the door. Aw, it's our bud. Okay, there you go right. Uh oh, what do you mean? I'm not sad if that's what you're wondering. Kaede, it's not your fault. Hmm? Underground Passage was a trap. It was a trap to get us to think that we could work together and then crush our hopes. I know that, but I just wanted to escape with everyone. But it's alright now. Everything's over, right? Kaede, I know how you feel. I believe in you. What? You believe in me? I, there's something I have to tell you. Will you come to the library with me? The library? What's gotten to Tsuichi all of a sudden? Let's hope he's not planning to try to kill me. I kind of suck, you know. Yeah, I wouldn't like that at all. So you better, you better, uh, you better keep your wits. No, um, library is on second floor, right? Yeah, second floor. Hello, Gonta. Um, I'm not gonna talk to you right now because, well, actually, why don't we just talk to you right now? Because this could be an exposition rising event. So, hmm. What's the matter, Gonta? Searching for something? There's no bugs here after all. Oh yeah, you did mention that before. Gonta trying to understand why. Ah, that's right. Of course the ultimate entomologist knows that. Gonta have no idea, but... Gonta, not give up. Gon gentlemen, not give up that easy. So Gonta should go search even more. Okay, at least you have some hope in yourself. Better than many people I could say here. Uh... Okay, is there anyone I like over here? Uh, anyone I like? Okay, I like you, so I'm gonna talk to you. Hey, is the shell bus coming or not? I've been waiting for a while now. I don't think a bus is gonna come, but this whole place is surrounded by a caged wall. Oh yeah. Uh, it's just that, it's customary to come back to Macon by bus. I travel by bus even since summer and winter. The bus driver um, sings sea shanties for me. 
In the past, I was saddled by debt, but now I'm the proud owner of my very own home. What is she talking about? Never mind, it's just plain unimportant. Well, actually, the way I got home from my con, they actually just went to the airport, got my plane. Well, that's how I went home, so. I, I was just kind of chauffeured there, I guess. Well, anyway, since this wall is so big, I wonder how a bus would even get in here. Would a bus really be able to get here? Probably a bus trying to get in here right now, and then get blown up. I don't know. Hmm. It's weird. Okay, I like you, so I'm gonna definitely talk to you. It. See? It's just like I said. Well, just, what's just like you said? Sometimes you gotta be a little reckless to make your dreams a reality. Huh? What are you talking about? What? What do you mean? Thanks to me, we can feed Monokuma, right? I still don't know how to get out of here, but the number one threat's gone now. Uh, Kaito. To be honest, what you did was really dangerous. Well, I was just a little nervous. Just a little. But now we survived... That, now we know the universe is watching. That bear got the cosmic justice he reserved. The universe is always on the side of those who push the limits and never gave up. Uh, um, I guess? Anyway, Makuma is gone now thanks to me. All we gotta do is escape. Yeah, I don't think it's that easy, fam, but... You know, I like your positivity, my dude. I'm pretty sure that he's not dead by now. He's probably just hiding to make things a little bit, uh... The sauce things up a little bit. Rossos. Boom. I don't know. I'm just bored. <laughs> Sometimes I do that when I'm bored. Well, bored commentary-wise, not, uh, not game-wise. I don't know, it's weird. Okay, then we should go to the library. Okay, where the hell's the library then, BB? Hold up. So, a library I thought was on the second floor. No, that was a computer lab, oh. I forgot. Okay. That was a computer lab, so. Library is... Oh, yeah, now I remember. Yeah, now I remember. So. It's down here. It's underground library. So, why don't we just do a little... Do a little run -sees. So, we go in this way. Hop. Okay. Yeah, I remember now. I remember. So, what you gotta do is... Here. Like before, the entry of Liberty Library was filled with the cell of musty old books. Okay, before I say anything else, I want you to promise me you'll keep the secret. Okay, got it. She just looked really even smiled. Like a great detective, you began explaining exact detail. Remember. Library, but books can't get everywhere. Even books lying on top of bookcases. But take a look at this bookcase. It's the only one in the library with no books on top. Ooh, interesting. Oh, that one? Oh, you're right. Also, you see the floor in the front of the bookcase has noticeable markings. You're right. What is this? I noticed the markings the first time I came here with you. It's where I came back to investigate. That's when I found this. He walked over the bookcase, played his hands between the gap. Let's see. Good job, my dude. You found something. And moved the bookcase. A door? So let's go to that door. It's probably Monokuma. The pattern on the hidden door is black and white. Just like Monokuma. Hey, you think this door is connected to Monokuma somehow? I think it might, but I don't know anything for sure. This door has a card reader lock, so I can't open it. You can't? But the very fact that the door is here makes me consider a certain person possibility. The chance that one of us here is cooperating with Monokuma. Huh? Cooperating with Monokuma? Wait a minute, what do you mean by that? There's a hypothesis for now, but consider this. Why would there be a hidden door here? If it were solely for Monokuma's use, he wouldn't need to hide it. He would just have the Monokubs or the exit cells protect it and keep it in plain sight. However, I can think of one reason that the door would be hidden. For more of us to seek in and use it without anyone noticing. Maybe, but I can't believe someone in our group would be working with Monokuma. I can't believe it either. That's why, to confirm my suspicions, I decided to set a little trap on this card reader. I sprinkle some dust inside the card reader so I can tell when it's used. 
Of course, I was careful to make sure that this wouldn't come loose accidentally. Now I don't think the person swiping their card would notice they care about a little test. So if you see dust on the floor, it means one of us used this door, right? Well, as I mentioned before, this is just a hypothesis. I have no evidence yet. But if it is true, then even if the Monokuma is gone, it isn't going to end Kaede. Anyway, that's what I had to tell you. Of course, I don't expect you to believe me. I just wanted to tell you, no matter what. Well, let's just head back. I didn't stay here too long. Virtual shishish. Sh sh. Okay. After putting moving the place, book place back into place, we suddenly we cautiously left the library. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful detective work. Okay, Ade, please don't tell me what I showed you. I don't want to cause a panic. Yeah, I understand. Having made our promise, we return to our rooms. Okay, so... It's already night? Interesting. Thanks! Thanks, Monty. I'm, you tried. You tried. Uh, I'll try again next time. Just one? The other Monokuma aren't here to bury Monokuma? Oh, okay. Well, anyway, what Tsuji told me earlier was really disturbing. All of us cooperating with Monokuma. It's so hard to believe. But, Tsuji, trust me. That's why he told me, right? Maybe I should believe it. Yeah, probably. I mean, it's a quite a big secret. Wow, we're already out of material. Like, closing 10 minutes sushi restaurant. Well, when the series lasts for several seasons, eventually it'll run out of material. My memory has been awful lately. I wonder if it's because of how long the series has been going. Wait, what season are we again? What material have we shown so far? She's not remember. Maybe it's because they've released so many at this point. Oh well, maybe. Anyway, we need more material for the Monokuma Theater. Please send your manuscripts, along with a $1,000 application fee. If your entry is selected, but receive a $100 gift card. What a generous prize. Don't miss the opportunity. Send your application today. Wow, that's a great deal. Woof. $1,000 application fee. Send the application, get $100 back. Oh boy. <laughs> I guess I'm going places. Gonna start my writing career. Eyes in shine or sign, you say? But yeah, it, nothing happening. I like the little uh, chibis in the background. It's kind of cute. But... Thanks, Mom, again. You tried. It's already morning. I didn't sleep well last night. Let's say this conversation's still on my mind. I wonder how I'm also doing. Are they already gathered at the dining hall? I guess I'll go for now. Oh, good morning, everyone. Hooray! It's unblocked. Easy access, easy mind. Okay. Is that everyone? Despite all my worrying, everyone was in the dining hall was in a good mood. Man, for a moment I had no idea what was like. I'm glad it turned out like this. Yeah, seriously. No. I slept well last night. Also, I went to the bathroom and brushed my teeth by myself. Is all that was magic? You're so amazing, Himiko. Praise to be Otua. Surely he helped you with his own mysterious, miraculous way. Because Otua seems to act in secret a lot. Atua but because Otua is the most of danger. But when's someone going to get us? Whoever does, I assume they'll come today. No need to worry. Why the long face? Oh, that's nothing. Figured no one would listen to some guy who can't even remember his own talent, right? I don't know. This I was thinking this whole reaction voice would change your thing. So I, I was thinking that would do something. So be like kind of like that. So really, it's nothing. This is quite the happy ending. But is this really how this ends? Without thinking, I blurred that out loud. And now I remember everyone is staring at me. I mean, it just seems too easy. I don't think it'll end like this. I wonder, do you wish the killing game had continued? Not no, not at all. Then don't ruin your happy moment, you freaking skank. Ha, uh, I don't like you. Hey, Kaede, 
I don't know what you're so worried about. But Makuma is dead now. There's no way the killing him continue, you know? They're the mana cubs. And that's my cue to cue to appear, Kuma. Wait. Uh Monokuma? He's still alive. No no. Are you guys blind or something, Kuma? I ain't Monokuma, Kuma. After dying in that tragic car accident, I have been reborn as Yokai. Call me Jiva Kuma Kuma. Jiva Kuma? No on I'm the headmaster of the Ultimate Academy, Kuma. You might feel uncomfortable at first, but eventually you'll get used to it, Kuma. Huh? Did I slip up? No duh, you freaking fraud. <laughs> Go find another car to run you over. This time stay dead. Oh jeez. It's such a low level cosplay. I can't bear to look. I have an important question. Have you mistaken ghosts for yokai? Yokai are mythological creatures first created back when humanity lived closely with nature. Back then, they were the embodiment of unexplainable natural phenomena. Man, you guys are so buzzy. You guys are buzz kills. I was all set for an adventure, but soon you started yelling at me. This is why I hate teenagers. I'd have cash for days if I was dealing with the under 10 crowd. Probably, actually. Jeez, it's loud in here. What's all the ruckus about? <gasps> Wait, what? Our father, who we thought was dead, was actually alive! No way! Papa Kuma's too hip and modern to result the death is cheap trope. I bet the yokai did it. No, that bet's already over. That ain't over yet. We're still talking about the spooky stuff. You should have told us you were still alive. I'm making stew with your body. But if Papa Kuma's in there, who's whose body's in the stew pot? <laughs> Which Papa Kuma was the real one? No, they're both real. Huh? But father, you said there were only one of each of us that were unique, like snowflakes. Well, yeah, I've only got one of each of you guys, but I've got loads of spares. <laughs> Why you got spares and we don't? Of course, you don't get to have spares. Do you really think that anyone to say an age would tolerate the death is cheap trope? Huh? What does that mean? But now we know. The school has a machine though where that can make a whole lot of pops. Just activate that machine, you can have many spare pops as you want. What the hell are you doing? What the? What the hell is this? Okay, that was a little weird, but okay. What I see you guys just say, so I said I just can't take it anymore. Yeah, that's so cute. Gosh, I want to see what your parents look like. But you are our parents, father. Okay, you're weird. Okay. Wait, I'm your parents. Uh, sorry. I can't react to this. I'm too much shock. Does that mean the killing game's going to continue? Continue. The killing game's going to continue. Oh no. That's not the problem, donkey face. What do you mean the killing game's going to continue? I mean, that sounds a lot less boring, so I guess it's okay. No, it's definitely not okay. So that's how it's going to be if we want to end this. We have to take down Makuma and the person behind him. I predicted there would be a spare, but I did not expect it would be built within the academy. Either way, I assumed it would not happen. This development was not surprising. Is that so? Do you assume this is an exciting development? Ah, you guys are weird. Oh no. Oh no! Oh no! <gasps> That's a pretty thing! No! 
No, 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 no Quick question, Father. What do you mean by countless Monokumas? I thought we were up once time here now. Don't worry, let's get the Eskids all do this thing this time. But I'd rather not go through that again. I feel bad if you guys hired yourselves out. But if the exiles get popular, we could have a real cash cow on our hands, you know? The merchandising rights would make the rest of us sultans. Hmm, sultans, huh? Very tempting, but... I won't let your kids ruin your futures. You need to have your own kids and ruin their futures. D Daddy, you love us so much. That's enough. Oh, you're still here. Of course, we never left. Why are you doing this? How much suffering do you want to put us through? Well, if you were suffering, you better all hurry and start the killing game. Then you can say bye-bye to the suffering. You bastard. Don't you realize that working together is pointless? So knock it off already. You know what you gotta do, right? You're surrounded by strangers, neither allies nor friends. You just need to worry about them. No need to worry about them. Plus, you got that first blood perk. That means the first kill's free. But the killing game's gory, huh? I'm starting to feel a bit queasy. And if they don't want to play by the de if they don't want uh, if they don't play, they're dead anyway. And that's way more gory. I see. If it's gratuitous, over the top gore. I might be able to tell like that. Forget the killing game, then. It'd be better if you all just die together. Shop and get the feff back. Well, what you guys decide up is, is next up. Uh, what you guys decide next is up to you. Do whatever you want. You can all die working together, or you can survive on your own. It's all. It's your call. Oh boy, what has this gotten to? Man, father's in the zone. I was getting irritated until he said all that. Let's talk about some honey to celebrate Papa Kuma's return. Yo, Majam, get some pure organic honey. Pour some honey on me in the name of killing. Yeah, you go do that, but do it. Make sure you're safe. Oh no, yeah, I'm feeling the despair. Oh, oof, boy. After Malcolm left, all we re remained was utter fear and despair. But what are we gonna do? Nighttime in two days? We'll be here in an instant. There's gotta be something we can do. I can't die. The world needs my genius. I I, I don't wanna. I, I don't wanna die yet. Die? Everyone's going to die? Is dying the only choice? You don't need to worry. I think I will welcome you with open arms. That's after we die, right? We can't panic, but we can't bag about something like this. I'll do something about it. Did you have a course of action in mind? I'm gonna start thinking of one right now. <laughs> Figures. I didn't expect anything from you in the first place. We, we gotta fight back then. Y yeah, if we strike them with some sneak attacks, we might have a chance of winning. What kind of Aikido moves even involve sneak attacks? Go on everyone. Go to his body. Keep everyone safe. You're gonna use... You're gonna go against those machines barehanded? Isn't that too reckless? But we have to do it. If we don't, we'll die. Wait, we still have plenty of time to calculate all possible options. We have no time to be indecisive. We are urged to make a decision. To die fighting or die from the time limit. Why do both choices involve us dying? N no way. Are we really gonna die? I don't wanna die yet. I'm gonna survive. I'm gonna make it no matter what. No matter what? Wait, you can't do that though. Even if you make a stink mistake, you can't. Then you'll accept the blame? Huh? huh? Will you be accepting the blame if I die? I have people who said that die. It will be sad if I die, you know? Um, well... I'm lying. No one will be sad if I die. I don't know if the same can be said for everyone else. Anyway, I'm gonna take off now. Take off? Where are you going, Kokichi? Oh, I don't know. Maybe back to my room. Just think things over. Alone. Okay, I have a bad idea about him. 
alone in your room? What do you mean by that? Are you inviting me to come kill you? Me? No, I, I tried to claim that perk for myself. I'm way too classy to kill someone. No, you're just a, you're the perfect class to kill someone. You're like at that moment. Taking you, it is talking to you is exhausting. I'm gonna go to my room and rest. Hmm. Be you. Better not do anything shady, okay? There's no need to worry, is there? No one's gonna kill anyone, right? If someone's gonna kill, they should just go for the robot. That's even worse. So everyone feels like killing is wrong, but why is that? What? Of course, I know it's going against the law, but lots of simply rules people decided upon. If this is a space removed from those rules, therefore, no need to follow them. Don't need- don't say stupid crap like that. Even kids know killing is bad. It's common sense! Even if it is to survive. We are as guinea pigs among the lab table. We cannot be picky about our means about sur of survival. What? I only wish to observe the beauty and of humanity and wish the depths of its sins. Ah, oh, that's bad. So, no need to fear me. Hmm. Kyo. But ma males and the soft sciences are pretty soft themselves, so I don't think he'll do anything. Jeez. He's not wrong, though. If you want to stay alive, standing around grumbling is not going to change anything. The things are. We're not going to escape. Oh, that's a creepy ass freaking stare. We're not all going to escape together. We're going to die together. Are you guys okay with that? Yeah, probably not. Hold on, everyone. We haven't decided on our plan yet. You can decide that on your own. Hmm? Your half ass speeches won't work on us anymore. You know that, right? So just come up with a plan for yourself. And she's gone. Wait, Maki, wait! Well, then. I'm just going to pray for it to a... Have fun! Like... Yeah, I... Can I just go and think by myself for a little? It's a shame that I won't be able to hide all my special art commissions before I die. Oh... Uh, mm, yeesh. <sighs> or all that... Or that special pillowcase I bought. What should I do? Oh, I, I'm liking you already. Uh, oof, I, I get what Casey you mean. But, but wait, you guys. You, you guys, you can't listen to Makuma. Everyone, what wrong? Why everyone scatter? <laughs> Fine then. All of you just do whatever you want. This is exactly what Mama wants to do. So what else is part of his plan? Is my memory part of it too? If it is, then can I even trust myself? Vitaro, what's wrong? What's wrong, he says. Hey, I have a question. This might sound a little weird, but... Does the term Ultimate Hunt ring a bell for anyone? Ultimate Hunt? What is that? I never even heard of it. What about it? I have a feeling you're associated to it. Nothing. Forget it. Huh? What do you mean, Rentaro? It's nothing, really. I'm just a bit confused, is all. Everyone's a little anxious about not being able to remember how they got here, right? Well, in my case, not only am I dealing with that, I also can't remember my talent. So I'm guessing I'm asking you to bear with me if I say something that don't make sense sometimes. Oh, okay, but I have a feeling that Ultimate Hunt's gonna be a little bit more important on the road. Rentaro? Still looking back, Rentaro just waves his hand and left. In the end, I couldn't stop everyone from leaving the dining hall. Why won't anyone do anything go right? I just want to escape with everyone, so why is everything going wrong? I know the answer. It's Monokuma's fault. We're controlling him and his plan to snare killing game. It's all their fault. Um, I'll talk to a couple people who are here. So let's talk to this little BB. It's time for my last resort. Last resort? The magic powder. Stop, you shouldn't do that. If you put it on sweets, it's really tasty. Sweet and salty. I know the secret recipe. Oh, I see. I mean, you mean that. Oh, okay. Mmm. Gonta, you look sad. I want to help you. Fight the Monokuma. That's the only choice we have. Gonta work hard for everyone. Exactly. I will harness the power of Neo Aikido. It's the sake of all girls. I understand how you feel, but it's no use. No way for us to win the fight. But Gonta no can do anything else. However, is it wise to charge into a battle without a strategy? That's true. 
I get where Conch is coming from, but we should calm, think to, um, calm down and think this through. Okay. Uh, let's just go. Oh, we talk everyone. Okay. I have to talk everyone. Uh, let's talk to Suichi. Hey, Suichi, what should we do right now? We need a move. Huh? Move? Suichi slowly approached me and is wary of his surroundings. He said in a hushed voice. This morning, I came to the dining hall and it was dust from the card reader on the floor. You mean in the library? Yes. So when he said we need to move, he was probably hinting at something. If that's the case then. Can I help you in any way? Of course, Kaede. But we should go. We shouldn't be talking in the open like this. What's up with you guys? What are you whispering about? We're not whispering, we're just gonna check on something. And that thing you want to check on is a secret? Sorry, all I can say is... I haven't given up. I'll show you guys where we can escape from this place. You can count on it. I see, if that's all it is, I don't believe in you. Thank you, dude. It's not like me to give up anyway. I've always believed that my wishes can come true if I just work hard enough. We got this. Okay, well, I'd like to leave. Hold up. Let me just talk to... Let me just talk to Kaito. I like him. That's how it is, and I'll believe in you. I'll believe that your heart is yours and never gives up, alright? Thanks, I guess. Okay, so let's leave. Thank you for watching this part of the series. I hope you enjoyed the despair-filled experience. So if you enjoyed this kind of content, make sure to leave a like on this video. Let's try to get five likes for this awesome sport of the series. I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am, because I really enjoy streaming this series. If you want to keep updated with when I release a new part, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to do so. And if you want to do so, make sure to hit that bell right next to it to keep updated with when I release every single video. If you don't hit that bell, you're not notified for every single video, and that would kind of suck if you're a fan of my content. So make sure to hit that button just to be safe. So I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. My, my, my.